We are proud to continue our involvement with Brisbane Women's Hockey Association. So from Joan and I, enjoy this week's coverage of the BWHA Premier League One competition. And we're underway, the Bart Mellish MP, John Pease MP, sponsored the BWHA Premier League Two match between South West United and Ascot Arana. Oh, Keneally, up against the captain of South West United. Clary Warren, now yeah, Ascot with a chance. Can they work it into the circle? They can. It's fallen for Keneally. She gets a shot on target, but it's off the back of the stick. And another lead off the South West United. So again, what they're doing, Ascot, they're working it down the side, the centre pass, back into the circle. There's a player waiting for it, but the execution's poor again. Uh, Emma Fry's going to be the trapper. Ball's in. Straight shot, it's off the stick of the runner out. And that was good running out by South West United. Certainly. So the third penalty corner in a row. Bradley again. Not a great trap. Fry on to the feet. Umpire's playing advantage and across the face a goal defended by the goalkeeper. And that's what you've got to do. You've got to play the whistle. So it's not a great injection, but it's still play on. The umpire's awarded a penalty corner by waiting to blow the whistle for advantage. And they had the shot on goal, easily defended. They're now under pressure from Dunn. Bradley pinches the ball. Didn't get the free hit. Umpire says play on. Into the circle, nice turn. Trying to find the spot and nice work by Dunn. Taps the ball past the keeper in Messingham for the first goal of the match. And this is what I was talking about, to make sure you're on the spot. And I mean that white spot, and Dunn does exactly that. She's waiting for the pass and sneaks it past Messingham. Circle. Keneally. She can hit the ball. Oh, it was for the posty or the player on the post. Oh, not a, it's a chance. No, good save again. Play still on. And... Pull the trigger, that time Georgia Harris slotted it past the keeper for Ascot's second goal. And that's a great time to score with less than 60 seconds remaining. It's, a, it's about persistence, it's about trying to get that shot away and as soon as the shot's on target, the umpire was playing advantage and that rebound went straight to Harris. Pulled the trigger as quick as she could and it was a perfect shot. Already scored from one in the second half. And again, top of the circle. Ball's in. Goes to Harris. She brings it back out. Puts it in to Keneally. Keneally beats the... And Ariana Goff saying, although the ball, was, the ball was lifted because that was a first shot at goal, and because it was lifted, you see... The trap wasn't made outside the circle, so they had to scramble. They beat the keeper, but that first shot of goal, because it was lifted and it was a hit shot, it immediately a free hit to the defensive unit, to the defensive side. And now... Briar, she's playing as though she wasn't hit by, a, by something that's like a shot put when it hits in the face. Good work by New and she's still going. Cara Bradley, Tomahawk shot, finds the corner of the goal and that's an absolute cracker of the goal. Cara Bradley and that's what I was saying about a balanced defence. You've got to have a player on the circle, on the far post, this time on the near post. Cara Bradley and didn't even trap it, just one shot, finds the backboard for the third goal. Oh, new and she's been good all game. Bradley has been too. Umpire's playing advantage. And Cara Bradley makes the most of a limited opportunity. Gets it over the keeper of Ascot's fourth goal. So this is good work. It's Newen. Newen pilfers the ball. And it's good work on that side as well. And Bradley, one touch again, she finds the back of the net. 
They're running directly into this bridge, blowing, blowing from the right hand corner of the field, down the field. Kept in the field of play, good save, it's still available for Ascot. Oh, good work by Clary Warren, and again available, and and again the keeper of Messingham gets in the way. It's a like a pinball machine, and finally a penalty corner for third man obstruction. So Messingham manages to get in the way the entire time. And that's what a good keeper does, just keeps on staying on. A good save on the baseline by the, by the uh, postie. Couldn't see the number. I think it might have been Waters. But that's what it's like in there sometimes. The goalkeeper just has to keep a nerve, stay upright, keep that ball out of the goal. So the wind's really getting behind this rain now. Dribbles over the line this time. And that's a fifth goal for Ascot. It's a good injection and it's a good shot on goal. The keeper gets it onto it, but not enough to stop it rolling into the goal. And again, Sam O'Connor gets around two. Works it into the circle. Across the face, a goal, and again, oh, it's still available. Newen again, saved by Messingham. She got back up. It's still available. It's like a pinball machine in there, inside the circle. And finally, a free hit to South West United. So this is good work by Sam O'Connor. She gets it into the circle, and you can see straight away, there's players on the far post, players on the spot, New one on the far post, she gets a shot away quickly, but Messingham, she had it all lined up and made an easy save. Burke, Harris again, O'Connor, O'Connor, she's got Keneally running up the centre of the field, O'Connor gets around one, she's got it into the circle, she's going to take the shot herself, nice defence by Stevenson inside the circle and clears the ball. Sam O'Connor, very good again, gets around two, into the circle, she's channeled wide, she makes a turn, the shot's blocked by Stevenson, who did well to get in front of Keneally. Ten seconds to get into the circle, nice turn, again a nice turn, under pressure, gets it back. Oh, on her own feed, and that'll be the game. It's all over. Red Rover, Ascot have given Southwest United. In the end, a bit of a touch-up, but it was a fantastic hockey lesson. Well played, Ascot, and they take out the match five goals for nil. We are proud to continue our involvement with Brisbane Women's Hockey Association. So from Joan and I, enjoy this week's coverage of the BWHA Premier League One competition.